Hi, my name's Buck Rogers. I've been, been involved in rugby league for 42 years. But this week is very special. It goes back to my mother, who was one of the pioneers of rugby league, and I just, I wish she could still be. Don't forget her name. Her name was Dot Rogers. And God bless all the women that play rugby league. My mum was my first coach. So we used to get a penny and an orange to go to St Mary's on the train to Wentworthville to get beat 40 nil. There was only four teams in the comp and we made the semis every year. and got beat 40 nil in the, in the semi. <laughs> Mum and Dad, were, they, they were the pioneers of, of St Mary's footy. Riverston ladies rugby team takes the field for a challenge match against the Bells of St Mary's. It's a well-known fact that some bells are bigger than others. St Mary's attacks right from the kickoff, downing the Riverston girls so often they've practically got a permanent mud pack. Go on, girls, let down your permanent waves and let them have it. They train for this at bargain sales, and the bells get possession, flinging the ball around like a secret at a bridge afternoon. There's a chance here. The bells are going for the line as if there's washing hanging on it. She's over. The bells are out in front, like Marilyn Monroe. And watch a fair damsel put the boot in. It's there all the way. The weaker sex, they call them. Massacre before mascara is the motto of one and all. And there's another doll over. Heavens, girls, what are you all doing over there? It's supposed to be a scrum, and even if the referee is a man, there's no need to fall over him like that. But women always have the last word, and the bells of St Mary's sound full time. The ladies rugby league team challenges the men at a local club to a game of football and beats them hands down. They proceed to take on all comers before being defeated by a women's representative team from Queensland. The referee, no less than the legendary Clive Churchill. Sounds like a plot from the British comedy from the 50s, doesn't it? But it is true, the bells of some areas really did exist. Well, I guess now looking back at it and having time to reflect, they all idolised Dot. They, uh, they looked up to her. She said jump, they, they'd say how high. You know, we're talking about women with three or four children. They're out playing rugby league. Well, when you look at the photo, you can see the respect comes from all the other players. You know, some of these players could be young, old enough or young enough, whatever way you look at it, to be her daughter. Mum was 42 when she played for New South Wales. So, you know, you can see they're all, all on the same page. They weren't, it wasn't a gimmick, it was just something that they, they looked at and looked in their, into her heart, not just her eyes. That was Dot. All she wanted to do was make sure the club survived. And if it meant that she had to put her body on the line to play footy, she did. When you look, look back on it, how it all began and all that, these, these ladies were the pioneers, mothers with three or four children uh, working, had to work as well. And I don't think there's been enough credit given back to that. There's a lot of credit given now because the girls play some wonderful footy. But where did it start? Do we remember, remember, remember that? We should sometimes. Well, I've seen the women grow in confidence, and they, that confidence spreads to each other. And they're really good, they'd be really good mates, I'd say, and that's why they play so well. That's my opinion. Anyway. They've come a long way when you consider that they played on the ground where they had to pick up rocks to get a game of footy there. And she was out there leading them in front of the tractor. Mate, you, I don't give her enough credit. I just, you know, personally, I'd just like to wish all the women a happy women in Leeds Day. And they're a credit to their game and they're a credit to their coaches, and I, I wish them all well for the, the coming week. Yeah, beautifully said there by yeah. Buck Rogers. He's dedicated his entire life to rugby league, former Panthers and Raiders coach. And just a chance for everyone to remember all those founding women like mm. Buck's mum, Dot Rogers. Incredible. How's the commentary? Oh, the it's pretty, Glad it's pretty to see wise. we've come a long way since then. <laughs> yeah. And 60 plus years later, we've got a women's competition. Yeah. So incredible yeah. stuff. Women like Dot would be very, very proud yeah, indeed. indeed.